Logan Paul came out looking like the gimp from Pulp Fiction. Now this will be the last video I make fun of Logan Paul because today I discovered that he is both legally and medically retarded. There's simply no other explanation for what happened at today's weigh-ins. I mean, check, check this out. So Dylan Dennis, he's already done his weigh-in. He's climbed into the cage. He's waiting for Logan to join him. What, watch what happens. Logan is on the ground, putting his socks and shoes on after he weighs in. And this takes a solid 25 minutes. Have, have you ever been around a toddler when you're getting ready to leave the house? Have you ever been around one of these assholes? That's what this is. That's what this is. This is, this is the dad. This is the dad, come on, hurry up, while the mongoloid kid is struggling with his shoes. Listen, I'm a big combat sports fan. I have seen tons of these weigh-in shows, okay? I have never seen this. I have never seen somebody struggling to put their shoes on for so long. I'm telling you, there's something wrong with this boy. And if you don't believe me, let's, let's get back to his outfit here. I, I don't think we gave that enough attention. What is this? First of all, being plastered in Prime logos is so cringe. Imagine coming out wearing a bedazzled Gatorade logo. We get it, dude. You're peddling snake oil. Back to this weigh-in. So they finally face off in a cage separated by a piece of plexiglass. And now Dennis, Dylan Dennis, challenges him to a face-off out of the cage, face-to-face, -face, no glass in between. Come on, let's do a real face-off. Let's do a real face-off. But Logan wants nothing to do with it. Not after he got cracked in the face yesterday. Not after he got molly whopped with a microphone. You see, Logan is not a fighter. Logan is soft. He's not about that life. And I can prove it. I can prove it. Watch what he's doing here. He's doing gun hands, right? Let's have a better shot of these hands. And you'll see what I mean. That he ain't about this life. He's just a poser. It's all broad. Look, look. Look at the gun hands. He's doing gun hands like this. These are his gun hands. He's never done gun hands before in his life. What, what, what is this? Are you hitchhiking? Dude has never done gun hands in his life. He's soft. He's a fake. He's not a fighter. He's scared. And that's why he has to wear this gift mask to hide his terror. He's terrified, especially after getting cracked yesterday. But you know what? That was not the most embarrassing thing. Let me show what the most embarrassing thing was that Logan Paul did at the weigh-ins. You ready for this? You know I brought the baddest dudes in the world. I got Gordon Ryan to protect me. Oh my God. He's at the weigh-in. He's trying to sound intimidating. And he just said he paid another man to come protect him. Several men. I have the baddest dudes in the building. I have Gordon Ryan to protect me. I swear to God. I am, I am convinced that Logan Paul's management secretly hates him. And that is why they don't stop him from doing these absolutely moronic stunts. And I don't blame them. Imagine being his management. Imagine working with this rich, spoiled twat. Imagine being around this clown and he thinks he's the smartest person in the room, even though he has the IQ of a room temperature bowl of oatmeal. And sure enough, Gordon Ryan, jiu-jitsu champion, is here. In case he tries any jiu-jitsu bullshit, this man go f you up tomorrow you try to pull some there he is, one of the greatest jiu -jitsu And there he is, Gordon Ryan, looking like a complete jackass. I know very little about this guy. I had nothing against him before. But dude, you just destroyed your reputation. You showed that you were bought like a prostitute by Logan Paul. Embarrassing. And what is with Logan Paul using human beings as props? He's done this three times already in the build up to this fight. Right here with Gordon Ryan to protect him. Let's not forget at the face off with Dylan Dennis. Let me show you. He brought out that fat bouncer that lovingly held on to Dylan Dennis, who was not fighting back. This idiot, remember this bit? Hilarious. And that's Chance, that's who hilarious. choked your ass out on the ground. That's so good. in case you try anything funny. So in case you try anything funny, I hired this guy to protect me in case you tried to do anything funny. He's saying this at a face off for a fight. And then he does the exact same thing with Gordon Ryan. And the other human prop he used was um, Chris Hansen. Look at this. He brought out Chris Hansen in the press conference to pretend like they had dirt on Dylan Dennis that'll put him away in prison. I used to like Chris Hansen. I appreciated his contributions to Kitty Diddley. But now, God, he made himself look like such a cheap $2 whore that he could just be bought by Logan Paul. Throw away all his integrity and pretend like they have something on Dylan just because he paid him. Chris Hansen lost all goodwill he built up with the sewer. From now on, I'm going to be rooting for the pedos on his show. 
pathetic. Logan Paul just keeps bringing out human props. He's like Carrot Top, but with humans. Which makes it all the more hilarious when he made this comment today at the weigh-ins. You won't believe this. You, you won't believe what this clown says. I would love to get Dylan's thoughts on this, but I don't know if I could do that. Let me just ask you. Dylan ain't got no thoughts. He's f***ing brain dead. Yeah, Logan. Dylan is the brain dead one. Oh, the lack of self-awareness. Oh, the lack of self-awareness. But Logan is not alone. No, sir. Because DAZN has decided to open up a special needs category on their boxing card. That's the one good thing DAZN has done. Included actual mongoloids. Watch this. He was saying a lot to you over there. You weren't saying much back. Why not? There's nothing that needs to be said. There's nothing needs to be said. There's nothing needs to be said. Listen to that again. Oh, that poor mongoloid. I don't want to make fun of him. Let's just, let's just listen to him. Lot you over there. You weren't saying much back. Why not? There's nothing that needs to be said. There's nothing needs to be said. Poor baby. I hope he does well. I feel bad. I shouldn't make fun of him. But that guy should not be fighting. And neither should this other guy. Check this out. Watch this. This guy has no business fighting in this condition. Check this out. Okay, wa watch carefully. You can't see it here because his arms are crossed. Wait until his arms uncross. Check this out. The card's close to his back. Look at that! Do you see this? Bro just gave birth through C-section. What kind of doctor cleared this guy to fight with a gut gash this big? This whole card is a gong show! But believe it or not, this is not the most shocking thing. No, this is not the most shocking thing about this upcoming fight card. Watch this. You will not believe what happens here. In a fight buildup. Everybody done lost their minds. Watch this. The Check this tank. out. There we go. Ah. It's always about the gas tank. Now, I thought he noped out. He's like, bye. But no, he comes back. Check this out. Because they always forget about the gas tank. Oh, what's he got for you? He's going to give him some flowers. <laughs> He gives his opponent flowers. Can we just, can we just stop influencer boxing? This is the gayest thing I have seen in a weigh-in show. I'm telling you right now, if Pink Braid's over here, instead of giving him flowers, okay, I dropped to his knees, pulled down this guy's pants, and pleasured him with his mouth for a solid 25 minutes, it would have been less gay than giving him flowers. What is going on with this world? Fall of Rome, I'm telling you. Back to Logan. When I saw this, I was shocked and I was disgusted. This is the worst thing that Logan Paul has done. Look at this. The worst crime that Logan Paul has ever committed is making the mullet look bad. How do you make a mullet look bad? The mullet is the most epic haircut of all time and this clown managed to make it look bad. I thought it was impossible up until this point, and this is Logan Paul's greatest crime. And for that, he must lose on Saturday night. I'm telling you, there will be some cosmic karma for crossing the mullet. But no Logan Paul video would be complete without discussing the situation with his fiance. Listen to this. As a stalker, you got over 600 photos of my fiance on your phone. That's, that's 600. <laughs> Just Google that's, it, buddy. That, Google does. No, on your phone, your personal phone, you have an entire gallery of a woman you've never met before. That's, that's weird, right? That's not normal behavior. You know what's not normal behavior, Logan? Being a young lady that has 600 publicly available photos of her being filthy, being slutty. That's what's not normal. This guy doesn't think. Like you just said right now that there are 600 photos easily available of his fiance being a whore. The weird thing is not him putting it on his phone, okay? The weird thing is not him looking it up in a build up to a fight with you. The weird thing is those photos exist, Logan. That's the weird thing. Don't look at him. Look at your fiance, you buffoon. Anyways, I will end this video with the greatest comeback you have ever heard in your life. Prepare yourself for this. Prepare yourself for the greatest comeback ever heard, whether inside of combat sports or outside on the streets. Check it out. Uh, I will say I, I, I don't see it going past two rounds. Oh, shut up. Make me.